everybody. This is Denise Chapman, and I'm <laughs> just kidding. Just like move your mouth a little bit, and then when and then when you figure it out, Dan can edit it in. Just like <laughs> sound all different, it'll just be your mouth moving. <laughs> all right, take two. Hey everybody, my name's Denise Chapman. I'm the Producing Artistic Director of Theater at the Union for Contemporary Art. Come on into my studio. I know, that's this weird pause, like there was something else happening. Oh, I heard the music. Did you hear it? Did you hear my intro music? Yep, I heard it too. <laughs> Dan, I want intro music. Thanks for the invitation, because it's actually a, a conversation I've been having with myself for probably about two and a half years now. What does a studio practice of theater look like? I would say writing is one thing, because when you're writing a play, there's lots of alone time in that process. There's like, you know, sit down at the computer, do your research, read the books, work on the scenes, rewrite, draft, do all those things, which kind of live in a very individual space until you get to the point of production, and then you're once again in community. But so much of the work that I get to do in theater is communal that trying to figure out like, well, what happens in those times when you're not in production? What does the work look like when it's just you and you're working on your craft, you're trying to develop your instrument? Uh, of your body and your voice and your imagination. This is the office. This is where lots of theater magic happens. You can tell because behind me, there's lots of organized stacked chaos. <laughs> so I do a lot of writing in this space. I do a lot of thinking in this space. I do a lot of people watching, which is probably one of my um, big individual practices. When I got the house 10 years ago, that was actually one of the prerequisites for the house space I was looking for, is that it would have enough room to potentially be able to have a rehearsal in. When I was working on More Than Neighbors especially, I did several readings of it here in the front room. I've pulled out all the dining room chairs. We've, co we've conferenced in directors from Chicago and have done all sorts of things in the living room. I feed my artistic self in the house. So there is a pretty, I think, dope art collection. Insert photos here. <laughs> Do theater productions ever happen in a house at any sort? You know, like intimate setting? I mean, I'm thinking back like growing up in like a punk scene, like house shows were a thing. Like they're just, it was just like people playing in the living room. Like, is that a thing within the theater community? Yeah, no, totally. In fact, Billy Porter once said in an interview, if you aren't willing to do a show in your living room, then you're not willing to do a show on Broadway. The interesting thing when we think about space, because here in the Midwest, we are really lucky when it comes to space and we're able to usually spread out or find venues. But so often as the markets get larger, access to that space becomes very limited. So yeah, by all means, there are all sorts of productions that happen in living rooms and workshops that are happening happening around dining room tables. I was wondering if you have any pros and cons list or horror stories or like super celebratory stories on uh, the multiple moving parts. The thing I love most about theater is the collaborative nature of it because what happens is, is we do have so many artists who come together with varying different uh, skill sets to work towards this singular vision. And since I've gotten a little bit deeper into directing and producing and kind of being in charge of being the caretaker of this unified vision, it has taught me so much about working with artists and giving them space and time and this joy that happens when there's this like inkling of this idea that someone goes, yes, and, right? this is how we make it work and yes and this is how we make it live so to watch it all build in that way i think that's part of the energy you feel when you walk in the room when you're writing are you working on like multiple things at one time do you sometimes like work on stuff that wraps up quicker than others what does that look like i would say that i definitely write one project at a time so i don't have like multiple plays that I'm plotting. Like I think if you if you were to talk to a playwright who's like that's their main focus within their theater practice, that might sound completely different. For me it's you it is like a project that I'm working on. I live 
in a pretty deep like research incubation phase where I just read and research and read and absorb and think and look and take in as much of these elements that are going to live in the world as possible. And then I start listening. For example, with More Than Neighbors, it actually started with Mama Essie and a monologue with her talking to Harold, her husband who has passed away. And then like, it's interesting because like that, that monologue never made it into the play fully. Like there are pieces of it that then kind of actually got scattered throughout the play. There are days when it's like, right, 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 right. And days where I'm like, where did you go? I have to finish this. <laughs> So that's, that's the process. And I, I think some of that comes back to the, the being an actor director um, who writes. It, it lives in that space of almost like character creation and character building. So thanks for letting me perform at Open Studios. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thanks, guys. Have a great day.